And we all know being more efficient, obviously the output is greater, but also your costs come down. All right, hey guys, Eric Hewlin here with MTD CNC, and today I'm with Robert at Smith & Company, one of the best smelling machine shops I've ever been in. They literally must cover this place in incense. Really just a phenomenal place to walk into. Um, and today, we're standing behind a Hermelay with a pallet pool system, 12 pallets, and upwards of 90 tools. So I know, Robert, in some of our past conversations, you were saying one of your guys' goals is to automate, to yeah. run lights out. Right. So investments in something like this with 12 pallets, 90 tools, tool monitoring, you got the software, you can set up redundant tooling. So how is this going to allow you guys to streamline getting to lights out and getting to lights out manufacturing? Yeah, no, when we, uh, when we set out, that was one of our goals is to uh, automate, by automation, uh, create to where uh, the machine's doing more of the work than the people. So uh, building good processes uh, and all of, the, all of our areas in tooling and so forth. We got with Hermla and uh, on the C400 and it was our goal to have a multi-pallet machine because running uh, lights out is so key, especially in this marketplace uh, with everything being so competitive, uh, so uh, demanding for customers. Uh, having a lights out run machine has the ability with this 12 pallet system uh, and all of our work holding and tooling uh, to be able to run, you know, 20, 30 different parts all at the same time where all we have to do is basically load uh, the material and obviously, uh, you know, keep a check on the quality and all of that. But one of the things too with this 12 pallet system, and this is an HS Flex, um, it has the capability uh, with the, using the probing cycles uh, and also the bloom laser for tool wear monitoring. The redundant tooling uh, is one of the things that, uh, that we're going to implement here. Um, so this machine is fantastic for that. Uh, and as we grow with our customers and get, um, you know, more parts that have high volume, uh, we're, good, we're considering actually putting a, a robot here, a universal robot that can actually load and unload the raw material so we can just utilize this machine for even more. So, um, but yes, this machine totally can run, can run lights out. Our goal is to, uh, to load it up and uh, at the, uh, you know, during the day, load it up with all of aluminum or, or steel, whatever the, you know, the customer needs and basically come in the next morning and we have a bunch of finished parts. We take them to the CMM and we verify them and do it all over again. So uh, this machine totally uh, has the capability, the tolerancing that these Hermel machines hold just in the axis and all that are actually incredible. If you couple that with the right tooling, the right work holding with the Lang vices, uh, the Lang uh, risers, uh, we're also using Garant vices, uh, Heimer tools. Uh, it's just a winning story as long as you have a, a good program. We, we're fortunate enough to have some engineers here that are really uh, detail oriented and can make that good program that's actually efficient. Uh, which allows us to be able to run the lights out. Yeah, you guys, it really is a good success story, you know, like you had mentioned, and you guys really do seem to be the postcard shop of how trying new technology and really diving into the deep end with all the different systems out there. You guys have the software, you have the lasers, you have the probes, to be able to run lights out, it's all just incredible. But I know one of the things you had mentioned is that you want to be lean. Right? You don't need that many guys. You're not going to need operators. You want your highly skilled, highly paid engineers that will be able to set up these robotic systems and maintain these systems and really run lights out. No, totally. It's, um, we've partnered with the state of Alabama. Alabama is a, uh, is a great state, by the way. Uh, we like to make everything in uh, Alabama. Uh, they have a wonderful uh, program with the AIDT that's actually helping us get machinists and skilled trades. Uh, but that process takes a little while. Uh, you know, to bring someone on, to train them. Uh, we've got uh, some in process, but having uh, engineers uh, like Jake uh, behind us, he's a mechanical engineer. He's actually running the machine from a mechanical engineering side. 
Stryker uh, Moffat is our programmer. Uh, he's making the good programs, we're having the good tools. It's making it easy to run our parks. So as we grow, we're going to grow in technology and have uh, more of engineering, uh, high-level machinists uh, along with us on our team. So obviously people are everything, but also giving the people the right tools to work with is key. You don't want to hire a fantastic machinist and they have a machine that can't even hold the tolerances that's required on the, on the drawing. So that's uh, very much the case for a, a lot of people and that's why they start doing workarounds and offsets and all this stuff. So we've eliminated all that right up front. So we, we uh, purchased and made the investment into a good machining tool as well as tools just to make it better for not only our workers but our customers, efficient, and it's a return on investment. These machines aren't cheap, they're very expensive. But in most cases, you get what you pay for. The frustration level goes down, uh, the ease of running it, and just, it's so satisfying to know that you can actually load this machine up, run lights out, and not have to, for me as a business owner, be at home, it's like, oh, you know, this may, uh, you know, we may come in in the morning and all these parts are bad. Well, we've lost all the material, but we've also lost the machine time, which you'll never regain. You know, I wish there was a way we could rewind things and do it all over again. But once you've lost time, you can't get it back. So having this technology is key, in my opinion, uh, to any successful business. Yeah, and how, like you said, having technology is key, and you talked about making that upfront investment. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not only doing that with the machines, but you're doing that with the tools and the tool holders. You know, I see shrink fits and beautiful stands for assembling your tools. And with using those shrink fits, you're getting those that concentricity. You're not getting that run out. It's going to extend your spindle life. Ten years from now, I'm sure you'll be holding the same tolerance on these machines if you still oh, got them. Absolutely. No, we, we, we totally will. Mm -hmm. Totally will. Uh, and one thing, too, that the Hermla does well, so... It was kind of, I mean, things are gonna happen. Crashes are gonna happen. So Hermla does uh, things real well. They have a crash protection built in the spindle on the Z-axis. So if you were to plunge really deep, you only have to change out these little um, little crash washers or springs, which is can be done in really about an hour. So you don't have to purchase a $50,000 spindle, so to speak. So your uptime on these, even with a spindle change, because in my career, that's been probably one of the most expensive and longest downtimes with any machine is you crash a spindle. Yeah. Uh, that's it, what you it, pay for, right? It, it just <laughs> happens. If people are doing anything, uh, sadly, they're going to crash. But if you can put things in place to avoid that, which we have here uh, with the tooling uh, detection and so forth, you can eliminate the possibilities as much as you can, you know, up front. So. Yeah, and that's just another example of how you guys here at Smith & Company, you guys really do it right. You know, you anticipate, you look to the future, you say, hey, crashes happen, how can we prevent it, how can we minimize damage, as opposed to just yelling at your operator, don't crash my machine. Right, you right. Know? Yeah, yeah, no, it's just totally correct. So that's why I want to insinuate the fact that giving people good machine tools to work with is the way to go period. Yep. That's just, I mean, it's really, you get what you pay for in most cases, and that's very true in the machine tool industry. Eliminating the, uh, the issues, the things that machines are not even capable of doing and trying to, to do and hold the tolerances on those parts, uh, well, it's impossible, you know, basically, because the machine accuracy is so critical, and Hermla does a great job with the accuracy of these machines on how well they um, you know, the control basically when you probe it, tell it to move a couple of microns, the machine is actually moving a couple of microns. It's kind of, not all machine tools do that. You might move, uh, you know, a couple of microns and then, well, there's push off or whatever, you know, in the tool holder or the way you're holding your tool. Uh, but if you eliminate all that, you just make a better part. Yep. Yeah, and we can see here, I mean, just even looking at your workbenches, you know, you have the torque wrenches, you're going to the right torque spec, you're using the best holders, Heiden Heinz a phenomenal control, well-built ball screws, well-built trunnions. So all those things, like you're saying, will work together and give you that repeatability. 
So yep. no, totally. And I think too. I mean, it even goes down to the to the coolant uh, that you use on the tool. Not all coolants are the same, but finding the right coolant uh, that complements the material you're running as well as the uh, the tools. Uh, it's really key. It's not only key to the product, but it's also key to the machine. As far as the wipers, seals, a lot of people don't understand that. It's like you get a coolant that that has too much soap in it or something. It's drying your seals out. So the coolant that we use, we've proven for the last 15 years uh, that it actually helps uh, lubricate and protects all the rubber seals and wipers. Um, but that's just another example of what we're doing here to deliver a better product to our customer that's more efficient. And we all know being more efficient, obviously the output is greater, but also your costs come down. There's a big cost up front with any, with any machine, but it's really worth spending the other 25, 30, 40%, sometimes a little more, because one, these machines will last 20 years. I mean, they're, they're proven to, to last 20 years. And if you invest that up front, sometimes it's hard to swallow for smaller shops to do that, but they would be better off in the long run. Yeah, and I think that's a great spot to end it, Robert. I mean, you've said so many good things. You get what you pay for. Um, it, the coolant, your tools, your tool holders, your machines. So clearly you guys are doing it right, making that investment up front, and I'm sure that's going to provide long-term success.